the entire time you'll be able to see the reflection of the light in these sunglasses. So try on seeing that. I'm here to point things out that'll probably bother you. Men in Black International. So Men in Black International is the newest and fourth Men in Black movie. Stars Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth. Long story, very short. Tessa Thompson's character comes across MIB headquarters and they're like, all right, you're hired. On a probational basis. So she partners up with Chris Hemsworth from another MIB branch, hence International. Now we have Men in Black International. I'm not gonna lie to you, Men in Black International it carries the torch pretty well. For a while when Chris Hemsworth was first Thor, I was like, all right, he's the pretty guy. He's the guy dudes wanna be. But as time's gone on, we're like, no, no, he's actually really funny. He has good comedic time. And he totally shows it in here. I like that it wasn't just a rehash in that sense, you know? It's not like you have the old seasoned one taking the young recruit under their wing, like Men in Black 1. It's not really like that. Tessa Thompson wants to take it seriously, so you'll always have that dynamic of the one who takes it more seriously than the other one. It carries on the traditions of Men in Black, which is essentially Mission Impossible, or James Bond, but with aliens. Now, I think it's new enough to be a proper fourth movie, which doesn't really tie into the other ones, though there are references in here. I thought that was pretty cool. Funny enough, Men in Black's had that thing where it's like, all right, they're looking for something. They have to get their hands on something before someone else gets their hand on that something. So really it's the quest for merchandise is what Men in Black is. So this is no different in that sense, but the other Men in Black movies had an antagonist. They had a face of danger. This one doesn't really. I mean, there are a couple of dudes coming after them and they have really awesome powers, but no personality. The two baddies going after them reminded me of those two ghost guys from The Matrix Reloaded. I mean, they're cool. They do cool things. Just no personality. I get they're going a new direction and by the end, I found it fine. I like it when Men in Black movies had antagonists with personality. And just when the movie starts to feel stale and predictable, they do a couple things where you're like, oh, this is actually a bit deeper than the other Men in Black movie. I dug that. I like that a lot. And the side characters. There's this little dude. His name is Pawnee. Pawnee's awesome. There was one moment I thought was a really stupid moment. Just kind of, I'm going to compare because in Men in Black 1, I can't think of a moment like that. Except for that scene when Will Smith's character was brand new and he was like, hey, what does this do? And he touches that ball and that ball just bounces all around the headquarters. Such wrecking things. It's like that times about a billion. They're literally like, hey, here's this thing. What do we do? I don't know. Push a button. I was like, we've established it could be very dangerous. You don't know what it, why would you do that? It's your first day, isn't it? Like both the, uh, I thought that was a really dumb moment in a world where I just word vomit my reviews. I'm glad I remembered right here, right now to tell you about it. Guys, in the end, Men in Black International, it's, it's what I wanted from a new Men in Black movie. It's fun, it has charm, they have charm, they have charisma together. It's a solid kind of fresh and kind of new, but not really new take on a franchise that's not really that new. In the end, I laughed, I smiled, I had a good time at the movie theater. That's what a movie like this is supposed to give me. Good time. In fact, it was a good time, no alcohol. All required. All right, so Men in Black International. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's your favorite to least favorite Men in Black movies? I don't know, ranking movies is pretty fun, right? <laughs> well, why not keep it going? I gotta fix that, hold on. These things are important. <laughs> Gotta fix that tie. And if you like this video, if you can click that like button as you've been doing, it helps me out, helps the video out, helps the channel out. And I love you for all of it. And I love you even if you don't. I'm just saying it helps, I appreciate it. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.